Hello Leo, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend reading for the weekend of April 6, 2018. The cards I am using today are the Oracle of the Mer sorry, <laughs> the Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. I want to thank everybody for like, share, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. It's the weekend, so let's get this show on the road. Alright, what's going on with Leo. What's going on with the Leo? Leo, Leo, love reading. Sorry, Leo, Leo weekend reading. What's going on with the Leo weekend reading for April 6, 2018? Leo weekend. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Leo, Leo, Leo. Success this weekend, Leo. That's what I like to hear. All right, new beginnings. Whoa, man, I like it. Leo, Leo, Leo. All right, so it seems like you're dealing with somebody who's real caring. This could be you also. Uh, but this is a loving, caring, and generous person. So it seems like you may be getting ready to start something new. And I feel like somebody is going to have your back doing this. So it could be a new job, new relationship. But it seems like you do have somebody or something inside of you telling you where to go and what to do to be successful on this new journey. Hmm. All right. So we got the Daughter of Pentacles here. So this is basically like... The page of pentacles and it seems like you may have money coming in so it's like you may be getting a bonus or receiving some kind of a payment but some people are getting their taxes late if you're if you get taxes <laughs> somebody's just some kind of money is de definitely coming in related to this success okay leo i wish i was a leo right now <laughs> all right so okay so it seems like it might have been some kind of shakeups at home, but I feel like there's maybe a little bit of jealousy. I don't feel like it's a big deal. It's just like some falling out about a new beginning. So this could be somebody leaving a relationship um, to go start new or leaving a job where you feel like these people were your family to go start new. But I feel like this had to be done to become successful. Okay. All right. Leo, Leo, Leo. All right, so, of course, there is a whole, whole lot of choices that you had to make to get here. Um, but I feel like this Mother of Cups was there to help you find a way. It could have been an inner voice. It could have been an actual person. But this person is very uh, knowledgeable and insightful, and they, they already knew what you needed to do. I feel like this person has been there before. All right, let's see what the Seven of Cups about. What is the Seven of Cups about for the Leo? judgment so it's i feel like this me um hmm yeah you it seemed like you had to make a choice whatever choice it was it was a good choice give me one more card for this judgment all right so the will of fortune so it seems like you had to make a choice uh, to deal with something it wasn't you weren't supposed to be there it wasn't your fate you know the wills a fortune was not in your favor because the situation that you were in you shouldn't have been there with this family or this job you know once you do stay take these steps and and go forward i feel like everything is going to fall in line but when you're not somewhere you you don't suppose when you're somewhere you're not supposed to be you will be pushed to go where you're supposed to be and that's what's happening here okay give me one card for this success for the leo all right, tower. It's crazy. So this tower caused you success. That's what I said. You know, when you're not doing what you're supposed to be, stuff is going to get shook up. So stuff is going to be broke down so you can restart new and in and, and successfully. Okay? So it's, it was success after a, a hard road, but it's like you keep getting signs. We all keep getting signs like, hey, maybe I should not do this. Oh, maybe I should go here. Maybe I should go here. Little stuff like maybe your car won't start. You can't find your keys. It's telling you 
that you're not supposed to be there, you know, but until you get out and you get in an accident, you don't realize that all these signs was telling me I should have moved in the first place. So that's the same thing that's going on here. I feel like you will get a little signs telling you, hey, maybe you should leave this job. You should leave this person. And then all of a sudden, boom, something crazy happened. You walked in on something or uh, you end up um, leaving a money package on the door and somebody came up and walked away with it, you know, and it's like that caused you to lose in a bigger way than you should have left. You should have left in the first place. So when you really don't want to be somewhere, care carelessness kicks in and it pushes you out in the first place. But it's just like a, you should have walked away. All right. What we got here. So it seems like, uh, I feel like you might have lost this because somebody was like maybe being a little lying and deceiving. Okay. It could have been a job. It could have been um, a partner. But it seems like you may have got pushed away, you know. So I feel like, yeah, you, you might have got fired or broke up with. But it was all for the best. You know, when you're not supposed to put be there, things happen for you to go. But expect happiness in, um, by the summertime. That's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you'd like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, thanks for watching.